All right, today we are looking at solving for y. We've been looking at slope-intercept form. What are the two things that we need for slope-intercept form? Slope and y-intercept. Slope and y-intercept. That's why it's called slope-intercept form. And it takes on this form, y equals mx plus b. We're doing things that are similar to what we did a few weeks ago when we were solving an equation. We're moving things from side to side. Today we're moving things from side to side so that we can get y by itself on the left hand side, the x and the coefficient in front of the x, and um, the constant over on the right hand side. So we have three different steps. Step one, move the x term if it exists and its coefficient, do you remember what the coefficient is? The little number. The number to the right side, so we want to move it to the right side of the equal sign through addition or subtraction. Put like terms together if necessary. Step two, move the whole number or constant <coughs> if it exists to the right side through addition or subtraction. Put like terms together if necessary. Step three, finally, if the y term has a coefficient, Divide everything by the coefficient. Each term gets divided by the coefficient. If the coefficient is a fraction, then multiply everything by its reciprocal. <coughs> Bless you. All right, so we have example one. X plus Y equals three. What do we need to have stay on the left-hand side? The Y. So what do we need to move to the right side? The X. Okay. So we have x plus y equals 3. So taking a look at the x, is it positive or negative? Positive. So to move the x, we have to subtract. So we're going to subtract x from both sides. Draw your line. x minus x gives us nothing, which is equal to okay. So what do we have remaining on the left hand side? Y, y equals three. Y equals three minus x. Three minus x. So do we have the y all by itself on the left hand side? Yes. Yep. yep. All right. And on the right hand side, do we have um, a y intercept and a slope? Yes. Now, do we have it in the exact same order? Okay. Can we rewrite it? Yes, we can. So y equals, I want to put the coefficient and the x first. Negative x. Negative x. And then the y-intercept after it. Plus three. Plus three. These two equations are equivalent, but we like to put it in this form just because we can see the slope easily and we can see the y-intercept easily. And then we're done. The point is to have y all by itself, and we've done that. Example two, we have 2x minus y equals 7. It is subtract 2x. Anything with the x term gets added or subtracted from either of the sides. So what do I have remaining on the left-hand side? Negative y. Very nice. Negative y equals 7 minus 2x. 7 minus 2x. Is the y all by itself? Yep. Yep. No. No. Nope. no. no. What's attached to it? Negative. 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 What do we do to get rid of the negative? Times it by positive y. No, and then negative. Times it by negative y. Divide by negative y. Uh, so we have to divide everything. The negative y, the 7, and the negative 2x. We have to divide them all by negative 1. Negative divided by a negative gives us positive. positive. So, positive so now y equals, y equals seven negative, negative 7. 2x minus 2x. Plus 2x. Plus 2x. Yep. So if I want to rearrange the terms y so that it reads easier, y equals 2x minus 7. Nice.
3x minus 4y equals 10. What do we need to move? Okay, subtract the 3x. And we have what? Negative 4y. Now, it's okay to write 10 minus 3x. It's also okay to write negative 3x first plus 10y, or I'm sorry, plus 10. You can write 10 minus 3x or negative 3x plus 10. Whatever you want. What would you like to write? Negative 3x. Negative 3x plus 10. Then I'm not switching them around later. Either way is fine. Is the y all by itself? No. So what do we need to do? Divide everything by negative 4. So negative 4 divided by negative 4 gives me 1. Wait. Why do we divide now? You have to get the negative four. You have to get the y by itself. If you get the negative y is multiplied by the y. When it's right next to each other, they're multiplied. Why wouldn't that like that for the x? Because that's added to it. They're two separate terms because they have a sign, an operation sign in between them. They're two separate terms. Okay. So I have y equals. We're going to leave this as a fraction, because remember when we do slope, we do rise over run. So it would be okay. y equals 3 fourths x plus 10 minus 10 what? We have a positive and a negative, which is going to give us negative. a negative. Negative, and just leave it as 10 over 4. Can we simplify it? Yes, you most certainly can. What would that give you? Five over two. Negative. Yes, it would be negative five over two. All right, example four. Two x plus five y minus four equals zero. Add two x minus two x. Subtract two x. So what do I have remaining on the left hand side? Five y minus four. Very good. Equals negative two x. Okay. Now what do you want to move? The four. four. Add four. So what do we have on the left side? Uh, y equals two x. Negative, Negative two x. Plus, plus four. Plus four. Now what do we need to do? Uh, Divide everything by five. So we have y equals negative two fifths x plus four fifths. And we're done. Any questions so far? No questions. <coughs> Example 5. 5x equals 3y. What do we need to get by itself? The y. The y. What do I have to do to get the y by itself? Subtract 3. Am I going to subtract Just or divide? Kidding. Divide. divide. <laughs> so divide both sides by 3. What do I have on the left? 5x minus 3x. Equals y. y. Is it okay to leave it like this? Yeah. yeah. It is. If it bugs you, you can rewrite it. Y equals 5 thirds x. But it means the same thing. Example 6. We have negative 6x minus 5y equals 0. What do you want to do, Keith? And 6x. Six six yeah. So what do I have remaining on the left? Negative 5y equals 6x. You just don't want to take that x anymore. I don't really need the x doesn't bother me. I'm just going to leave it behind. Divide. Negative 5. Just negative 5y. You can write it as negative 6 over 5. You can write it as the negative in front of the whole fraction, x. Or you can put 6 over negative 5x. Yeah. 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 Yeah.